Hello everyone, welcome back to Foundation Mi Banto. In late episode we were working on our inn and since then I did get a few suggestions for fixing a few things. So for example we moved this chimney to be instead of here, instead of in front of the window because that's a bad spot definitely. And I also moved it over to this area so I'm kind of thinking that if we destroy perhaps a few houses here we could have our tavern sitting here instead, and it's a freaking huge tavern. So we do need a pretty good amount of space, but I think this should play, should do pretty good. And like also said in comments, this should be an even better view over the water here. We might even turn it, perhaps we could go... We could go something like that, for example, and that will give a nice view of the lake pretty much for everyone can see some fish here and we might be you know getting some fish here and serving directly inside of our tavern that would be pretty awesome but it looks like this one if we want to have it all the way out here it looks like this one we have to adjust a few things here so can this one actually be higher up or is this like the maximum So I'm just going to move this up slightly like that, that's going to look better. Maybe, maybe even a little bit more, but as you can see down here we do have some we do have some windows that are sitting at the bottom there. And uh, it's going to be kind of weird if those are going to be taken in water, you know? And here's another girl, he has walking around the water. Nothing weird going on here, right? <laughs> so, um, hmm. We could move this one though. This one could be sitting here. And then... It's kind of weird, why can't we... Why can't I... Decide a height for this one? I wonder if it's because I added these. Let's see if I remove those. No? Okay, that's weird. Okay, so I can move this one up and down, but on this one, that's so weird. I guess we have to redo that part and, you know, hopefully that's going to be good enough and working, right? I'm going to skip that one. And uh, then we're just going to do an stone hall. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit here. Um, that would be pretty good. That looks pretty nice. And perhaps we can move this one. There aren't really any good positions in this one, so I'm gonna have it sitting... That should be a pretty good spot for it, that should be nice. So um, we want to go into this one and we're gonna remove the residential zone to make sure that they're not gonna be building any new buildings when we remove them. So some people are gonna have to move to new houses, so we're gonna destroy these two and... Uh, Probably these two as well, at least that one. Let's remove that one as well. As we have a little bit more space, because we might want to expand it. It's a freaking huge tavern already. But we might want to expand later, because we want to have a glorious tavern where all of our kingdom can get together and have a good time, everybody. So this should be pretty nice. Let's make sure that I really removed it. Okay, so that's good. We could perhaps have one down here. I'm gonna wait with the stables because we did have some stables and stuff here before and I will be adding that later instead and let's see what this would cost to build. 650 gold still. But that should be probably pretty fine. Let's maybe go like that so we have this little extra wall here so not fully centered. Might be pretty nice, might be pretty OCD, who knows. Uh, but another thing, we're gonna see if we can get our Lord Manor. Let's see if can we get this one done today. That would be really awesome. 200 third of 350 planks. So we're definitely getting closer and closer to have all that 350 in planks. So it's going pretty good so far. Could maybe do with another sawmill. Yes, for expanding faster. I wonder if we want to have another... Of those guys to make polished stone if we need that or not. It do look like we might need to get another 
tailor a workshop so we can produce enough clothing. We do have three people currently that are out of jobs. Let's see how we're doing over in our new village, our farm village. Okay, a lot of things that still need to get built. I think we need to get some new builders. Let's do that because our town is growing quite a lot. Which means we're gonna need more builders. And we can start to expand here again, I guess, because that was our original plan, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make this really big and then we're just gonna remove around the well. Kinda do the same for the market and everything. So something la like that should do pretty good. I'm gonna prioritize through some normal housing. That's not very often I do that, but I feel like we need more housing because people are gonna get sad and I do not want people to leave. I wanna keep my people in our town, right? So there should be at least three more houses that will be prioritized to get built. It'd be very nice. And we do have a mission to send over some soldiers, so we're gonna send them over to help the king. So uh, we're gonna send over the people we got. And we will be rewarded with some gold. Hopefully by then we will have our... Lord Manor done, so we can store more gold, because we will get a thousand gold for doing this one. And I do not know if this actually runs out. It doesn't say that like if there's a time or anything on it, really. So, I suppose we could wait. Let's wait a little bit. It doesn't have any timers, so I'm guessing we should actually be fine with waiting, right? Six villager lacks space for housing. Yes, yeah, so we definitely gotta fix that, guys. I would like to see more of these houses get upgraded. It would be really, really awesome. So, I wonder why these guys, for example, do not want to upgrade. Okay, so some people are lacking faith, it seems. So, Richard, do he want boar as well? I never ever, like, catched boar in this game. So, I'm, to upgrade a house, I guess we have to satisfy first, like, the Earl needs, for example. We do have to have faith for Marf... Mar we do have to have faith for Martin and uh, Gwyneth. Looks like she could need a little bit of faith as well. Let's see, how many spaces do we have here? We have 112 people now, right now, so that's a lot. 95. I really don't want to expand our current church, really. We can unlock the normal church, though. That's pretty cool. So, I have seen this one in the past. I'm not sure if it's something had changed because it was so long. So, let's check out the parts a little bit. It would be an immense display of faith if you were to build a monument to our Lord's splendor. I was about to say our Lord and Savior first. I will comply, of course we will. Oh wow, we get a hundred gold, guys. <laughs> hundred gold right now, that's like nothing. I guess that's the amount of gold. The church felt like, oh, we could spend a hundred gold. So the church, hmm. I guess we could design it around here where we were designing from the beginning, where we were like designing our tavern. I kind of wish it would be sitting there though, but I don't want to destroy the current church, that's the thing. But I still feel like our church should be like around this area. So uh, let's see what we can do here next to the water maybe. So this is the core, let's see how this one looks. Like that, and then I guess we add a little bit more, start with that. Some height gone. So I definitely think the church should be quite big. This one can hold, I suppose, 20 people. Because it has 20 in size. A door. Okay, looks like that. We have a big tower. So 
I'm gonna remove a little bit and we're gonna take that one back there and not go way to overkill to begin with, but we might go overkill later. So this is a small tower, okay. So where would you want to have that thing, a small tower? Could we have it like one on each side and maybe pull this down a little bit so it kind of goes together nicely there? And then we have one at the other side perhaps? This is probably going to be a lot of resources. We're already at the 279 in the stone. 269, okay. 82 tools. That's good at reproducing some tools. Around a tower, okay. This one I'm thinking that we can have maybe at the, one of the sides. I'm just going to make it go up a little bit first. So let's see. I kind of want it to be inside of this. Can I get it inside? Perhaps we want to do this one instead. Just to make it very different. So let's remove these for now. Two people were passing, one found a nice place to live, and they are walking on the water again. Oh, praise you, Jesus. <laughs> because they're walking next to the, the church. <laughs> so let's... Um, Get some things moved out of here, like this one, for now. So this one feels a little bit weird, like how I want to have it. I, like, I want it to hook differently. If I put it here, I might be able to... Oh, that's pretty cool. Push them together like this. That's uh, quite special. Let's get this up a little bit. That's pretty cool. Extension A, extension B. This one is a pretty cool one. And I think that I want to have this one. So it's something like that. Perhaps. Oh yeah, these are not... Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna move it, uh, let's see, over here for now. Okay, it doesn't want to go there. <laughs> Extension B. I still don't get these crosses. They like to not go the way I want to have it. And we can't really rotate them. So we're going to have it in the back there. We might even... Oh, we can have some gargoyles and that. Let's try it. So we should have a door to get in. That's for sure. So the door would be here. And I'm kind of thinking that we will um, be doing like a wall here at the side of this. So we could, for example, let's see what we got here. Got uh, hedges, large stone wall that we could do like that, but I don't think this is what we're looking for. Small stone wall, that one could actually work. And then we can, for example, we can have some hedge just right outside of the current one that will go next to it. We could do something like that or only the hedge, that would also work, of course.
But we gotta mash this together so we can move things around. And we can also change the colors here. So we have blue, we have red, we have stone. I kind of feel like I want to go for blue. So the biggest problem is this part. I kind of want it to be closer connected and not have this little gap here. I guess we could do some bushes, but I would have preferred if I could like have it to be more sitting inside of this. So it would be like that. And we could do so, but... Um, I think we can at least. I hope so. And a place for this one. That's like the hardest decision at this point. Where do we want to have it? We can always break houses. That's, that's always a possibility. So perhaps the place where we're supposed to have this one will be here. We have to move this though because it's gonna be too far if we don't move it so i'm thinking we have it a little pushed together like that and uh, let's destroy some houses let's break in all the houses around at the moment but it's gonna be a good thing in the long run so something like that can do for now until we have at least more houses and um, I'm a little bit unsure how it works with the door here, since this one and this one is not actually fully connected. So I'm thinking that we could do like another door at the side here, perhaps. So we can do another door that would be sitting here that can walk out. And then I'm thinking we might have some graves or something here. So for example, we can go in with this one and we do... Probably a hedge, I think that's going to be pretty nice. We have to go up like that. We could have it open between here, I wonder if you want that. So we can have it open like this, that would be nice. They're gonna walk through here, like I said before, because I don't know if they will be able to go into the full church there, but if we have it here, it should be at least workable. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, graves. This one doesn't really have a graves, that's a thing. So um, what we could perhaps do then, it might be though that uh, the rustic church did require us to have the core. Okay, it does require us to have the core. And I do not think we can just like add in some graves here. I'm pretty sure we can't. Nope. So we'll see later what we do. If it would be close enough to this one, we could have done graves. But I think that looks pretty good, guys. We're gonna chop down a lot of fours here later. But let's see how much is this going to cost for us. It's going to be 354 stone, 108 tools, 22 planks and 50 gold. So quite a bit of uh, stone and tools, but not really that much planks or gold really. So let me know what you guys think about this one. We definitely should add another thing though that I never added. This one. Stained glass. Can you have a church without stained glass? I think not. So we definitely should have that. Um, wonder how it also looks if I go in and, for example, we can do crosses here, or we can do gargoyles. This one's kind of sitting inside the wall, so that's not going to look very nice. And the same for that one, so we're not going to do that. So I feel ready with this one, really. I want to see if we're building a little bit more, since I put to prioritize some building over here. We should have enough wood to do so, so that shouldn't really be a problem. It looks like we are kind of working on the marketplace at the moment. Let's prioritize a few more houses. 
And let's see how it's going with our Lord Manor. Almost done. Very nice. Let's prioritize the very, very last part of it. I'm really happy with how this one looks. It looks very nice, I think. 17 people are lacking housing, so that's a thing we have to fix. But it looks like we're currently just waiting for them to build things. Oh, do I remove their job if I click it like that? Maybe I did. Let's get more builders. So that hopefully will help a little bit with our building situation. And uh, we might have a free zone to claim from before. Yes, we do. So I'm just going to claim this zone so we have it. And it could be that we could... Um, let's see here. Church is going to be there. So we can definitely use this zone for more housing. Oh yeah, let's fill out a little bit more here. Not to make it too close to the church, because we don't want it to be too much in the way. We probably should move some of this, these things away somewhere else, so we reproduce those things somewhere else. Would probably be a good idea. We could also do some wells outside of here, because we might be using some wells. And it doesn't... it's not really gonna hurt to have some rights, and if we expand it later, it's gonna be good to have them. Village complete house. Where is it though? can't really find it. It doesn't look complete to me, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty ga nice, guys. We got this good big old tavern here. Would you get to wait until the Lord Manor is done and we got the church there? The this one should be done, pretty much. It looks like it is done, actually. Very nice. So now we should be able to assign different parts here. The core, we can have... Okay, so we have treasury, which uh, expand our treasury by 240. The great hall, your hall, and envoys will be hosted here. Multiply building parts splendor by two. Oh, cool. Additional maintenance costs, current assign. Okay. Bailiff office allows you to name a bailiff. Building parts splendor of 2.5 boost effect by 25%. Okay, interesting. So we have different parts. So the core... Let's have the core as like an... Uh, a great hall. At least one of them. So the extensions, we do treasury, 360. So for the extension, I'm just gonna do treasury for them. And we can have maybe an uh, bailiff office in one of the core and we can do... A treasury and another treasury. Name a bailiff. Okay. Elaine, Robin, or Anna. Bonus provide. Trade bonus 12% for village of. Uh, okay. So any of those. Weak salary. Soldier training speed increased by 12%. Um, I'm gonna do this one. Elaine, you're gonna be my bailiff, because I like that trading part, and I'm not that interested in soldiers at the moment, so very welcome, you are my first bailiff. This is pretty cool, I didn't know about this thing at all, so that's pretty nice to see something that I didn't know about, always fun with games. Getting complete, a house, a tailor workshop, very nice, and now, now we got another tailor, so we're gonna be able to get more clothing, because as you can see, we're not doing super good, we do need to produce more, now that we have an bigger population to take care of. We're doing good with bread, we're doing good with cheese, and uh, berries are decent, not really good. The tools are pretty good as well, we are losing a lot of uh, wood at the moment because we're making loads of planks and we are also building loads of houses. But yeah guys, this is uh, gonna be it for today with the foundation, I hope you guys enjoyed our new church that we did over here, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome when we get it done, and uh, let's start building the tavern just before we end this episode, so we have that one going. 
but uh, let's see here. Let's just gonna get that one. Let's just push this up a little bit higher up. Like so. So we have a little bit of distance to the water there. But yeah guys, let's build it. So thanks for watching today's episode everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and also hit the bell if you want to get notified when I will be uploading more videos such as this one here on YouTube. So thanks for watching and see you next time everybody.